I think I have, you know, the best ski job in the world. Hard to beat. The guy is uh, an amazing skier, and you can tell that he's still having a great time. He's always grinning. I think if I were hanging out here all year, I'd always be grinning. This is my little fountain of youth here in the mountains. You know who the unsung hero of the ski film is? It's the heli guy. He or she is tasked with getting the athletes on the best looking lines with untouched snow and perfect light. And a lot of times, the guide looks just as good in front of the camera as the hotshot athletes who get all the credit. Bob Rankin is one of those guys. He got his start at one of the premier destinations on the planet, Mike Wigley helicopter skiing in Blue River, British Columbia. And it's been a 30-year dream job ever since. Yeah, one of my favorite early film shoots. Uh, it was incredible um, back in the 90s. Mike said, OK, here you go. Here's a helicopter. Go out, get some nice filming. And it was too good to be true. And uh, we went out there, and uh, I was kind of giggling to myself that you know, the mice are officially in charge of the cheese. I just worked out every year. I'd take the film crew out. And, and then I, I don't know, I guess they liked the way it crashed a few times, so I got uh, uh, <laughs> in, in front of the camera, too. You know, and I'll look at certain things through the winter, certain lines. If the film crew comes this year and the weather's good, the conditions allow it, oh, that'd be a nice run. I gotta go ski that one because it's got beautiful light on it. I'm always looking. This week, Bob welcomes pro rippers Austin Ross and Jim Ryan. We've been really fortunate to have been paired up with such a legendary guide this week. It's obvious he's been doing this for a really long time, and he knows his way around this train just as well as anybody. And, uh, you know, he's got his favorite stashes, and uh, he's been able to kind of share those with us this week. It's been really special. We'll do a run. I think it'll be awesome snow, and Rank will be like, no, no, no. I, I got something in mind, and we'll bump, you know, several valleys over to something that looks the same to me, but we'll get on it, it'll be twice as deep and twice as light. And then we're on it, and he shreds. That guy is an athlete. I'd set him up on a line, and, and they'd nail it, and just to see them do their artwork, I guess, on it. You know, we offered them this blank canvas of snow, and it's amazing to see. It's pretty easy to have a good time out there, but when you see guests, it's just the eyes or saucers. And to hear them say that that was the best day of my life, it's, it's unbelievable. It's hard to beat fresh tracks and the satisfaction that comes from making people happy every day. But Bob knows as well as anyone that there's a serious side to all of that fun. My role is fairly important now. I'm the chief avalanche forecaster there as well as one of the senior league guides. So our day is pretty full, wanting to ski that perfect run, but uh, checks and balances of all right, what's going on with the snow and the avalanche hazards? We got to make sure we have a good dose of humble pie in the morning for breakfast and go out in those mountains with a great deal of respect. It's really refreshing to be out with a guide who totally understands what we're here to do and is able to facilitate that for us.
It takes more than strong powder skiing and good people skills to make it as a heli guide. There's an intuition that can't be taught, but has to be earned. And Bob's decades in the mountains have earned him plenty. But even at 60, he's not ready to hang up his skis anytime soon. My soul and heart's been full of powder and smiles for a lot of years, so in those terms, I feel pretty wealthy. 